time I took a great ride outside of Dallas, Texas. I was in an Aston Martin, got pulled over, doing warp speed. And the cop says, what is this? Well, anyway, we were just uh, talking with the guys from Aston Martin, and I ran into the guy that was in the car with me, which is kind of fun. Uh, and he's still smiling. That's a good thing. Uh, but he uh, he validated that uh, I was telling the truth about that. I felt real good because sometimes my memory gets warped. You guys know how it is. Aston Martin of the Americas, Julian Jenkins joining us, Vice President, General Manager. Does that make you mad when you hear that people drive your cars at, at top speeds? Well, it's uh, it's an interesting one, Alan. I mean, ultimately, we build sports cars, so we'd like right. people to drive them responsibly. But uh, I was you know. driving it responsibly. <laughs> I didn't get a ticket. It, it proves the point that you, you enjoyed it. And he loved that car so much that last thing he says to me is, you can leave a strip of black on my highway on your way away from here if you want. In other words, I can burn out. Aston Martin, I love these cars. They, they just they, they create emotion inside of a person. When you look at them, it takes your breath away. They're so beautiful. And then to know that, that they have everything else you want to, you know, the performance and the comfort and the, the, the reliability and everything that we, we need in, in, in the cars that we drive, you know? So what is going on? What's, what's the story with you guys these days? Well, we've been very busy, and uh, it's an uh, interesting point you say, and today is, is no, uh, no difference to that. Uh, people walk up to an Aston Martin and they smile. You sure. know, that's, that's what the, the brand does, and um, you know, overlay that with the performance, overlay that with the craftsmanship. That's what Aston Martin is all about. We're very much at the moment in launch mode. We've got the Vanquish. First cars will be arriving middle of uh, January, and uh, customer cars will be in around March. And, of course, we've got the new DB9 as well. So um, it's exciting times in Aston Martin. So... This relationship you guys have with uh, James Bond, I mean, that's got to be huge for you guys. It's got to be huge. The fact that, I mean, look, it's going to be a billion dollars, this new Skyfall, right? It, it has to add some kind of just cachet to the brand, or the brand adds it to James Bond, I think. Yeah, yeah. Which way does it go? Both it, ways. It's probably a bit of both. Yeah. And, uh, we've been in 11 films, and very much the association is there, tried and tested now. James Bond, if you've seen the recent film, when that uh, roller door goes up, there's a round of applause in the cinemas. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's absolutely true. You know, it's funny. I, uh, I had a chance to uh, help Daniel Craig buy a car. I asked him about the whole Aston Martin thing, and very fond of those cars. Very fond of those cars. And it's just really neat that this James Bond guy, I mean, he's an influencer, right? Absolutely. And I think one of the interesting things, Alan, is, is that, you know, what the brand and, and what the power of the brand and association has done for us in markets where Aston Martin may not well be known, uh, the likes of China or India, for example. Um, the, the brand Aston Martin may not be known, but the, the, the brand James Bond is known. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And so the association in, in, in that respect uh, plays tremendously well for us. So what is the newest car that you want to you wanna talk about right now that's the newest thing Aston Martin has that is going to going to wow us. Well, the latest car that we've just launched is the, the Vanquish, which is the new Vanquish. You may remember that we uh, had an original Vanquish 2001 that was launched, and uh, DBS, of course, came along to replace that car. But we've been obviously toying with the idea for quite some time in terms of, of bringing that Vanquish back. Now, that needed to be a very special car, and the car that we've got now and we're just launching is, is that car. Um, the car is all new. It's a carbon fiber body. Mm. Uh, the car has got the 6-liter V12, putting out 565 brake horsepower, 457 pound-feet of torque. Um, it's uh, a car that we've spent a lot of time in terms of tuning for the <laughs> dynamics that you would expect uh, on a car that's capable of 200 miles an hour, the 0 to 64 seconds. This, wow. is a, this is a fabulous driving car, yet at the same time, as you rightly say, the expectation with Aston Martin is about craftsmanship. Yep. You know, the interior, uh, it's seven hides, takes 70 hours to create. We've got a stitch pattern in the, in the, uh, the car, which actually takes four and a half hours itself to, to produce. Isn't that amazing? Everywhere you look on those cars, they're just finely crafted machines. Julian, you've got a great job. Aston Martin, we, we talked with uh, one of the guys from the Aston Martin dealer who mentioned just a, just a brief note on the new partner, uh, finance partner that you guys have, which will enable you to continue on. And that's really what it's all about, right? Well, there's nothing confirmed as yet, but uh, what has been um, speculated in the media is, is around the potential sale of the company. What I can confirm, actually, is that there is no sale. Uh, our shareholders have committed uh, for the long term of the company, um, but what we are looking to do is, is find a capital investor in the organization, and that's an ongoing process now, and likely we'll find out more uh, in the near future on that right, and obviously well, share it. Hey, like you said, not for sale, just, just re recapitalizing, really. Yeah. Correct. Aston Martin. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous.